Yo, what's up everybody? So hopefully you clicked on this title because you want to learn how to make that scoreboard that you see on the right hand side of my screen right now where it says my money, time, kills, rank, and just my social media. So without further ado, before the video begins, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and comment if you have any problems. I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest and easy method. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so... First off, what you're gonna to need to do before you type out any commands, this is this is the most important part, important part, I mean, of the entire command. First off, you're just gonna do slash scoreboard, objectives, add. You wanna call these, you can see on my screen right there, it says balance, kills, hour, min, and second, or sec. You wanna create dummies that say those. So I'll just like do balance as an example, but you guys will have to create um, five of them because there's five titles. So first we're just gonna create, add balance, dummy. It doesn't matter what you wanna type here. Usually I just type balance again. I'm not gonna press enter and do the command because I already did it, so it's not gonna work. So this is what you do for the balance one and then say like, you want to add a different one so then you're going to type out this whole command again so i'll x out so once you press enter or you know whatever you need to do you're going to type the whole thing again so then you would type um kills dummy and then kills again same thing for min second and hour okay and make sure you're not misspelling them make sure the capitalization everything is accurate so go back in the video and just make sure you copy those five titles perfectly otherwise this will not work for you so once you have those created all you're going to want to do is um, create these few command blocks here i'll show you what they all are so once you have created those you're going to create a repeat always actives and zero ticks i'll let you guys know what kind of ticks they are uh, when we get to them but for this one this is going to be scoreboard players add at all kills equals zero. I'm not going to try to explain this because most of you guys don't care. And most of you guys just want the commands. I know how it is. I was trying to learn at one point. Um, so they yeah, type that one for the first one. And then the second one, you don't really need to add a hover note. This is optional. I just like that put balance there so I can kind of keep it like organized. So the same thing with this one. And then you're just going to do scoreboard players add at a balance zero exactly like that simple and easy and then for the second one or the sec one sec stands for second i just abbreviated it obviously um this one is actually gonna be 20 ticks so you're gonna want to pay attention to that it's gonna be repeat always active and make sure you keep that on 20 seconds because 20 ticks equals about one second in real life so then you're just gonna do scoreboard players add add a sec one all right and for this one, this is very important. You guys want to pay attention here. So you get the minutes and the hours. So I'm going to go over minutes. Repeat. Always actives. Zero ticks. You're going to make sure to type this exactly. Okay. These are those little funky brackets. And these little dots here, those are periods, not commas. So make sure you're doing periods. And this is pretty much the rest of the command. Like I said, guys, I'm going to try to keep this going fast. So you're going to have to pause the video if you want to type down the command. And then the next, the one, make sure these arrows are both pointing. It doesn't matter which way you're pointing. Just make sure the first arrow is pointing at the second arrow and the second arrow is pointing the same direction. So you want to keep it the same direction. I just have mine going up, obviously. So yeah, so make sure you're pointing those in the same direction. Um, this next one, execute at all. And then here's the rest of the command. Pause the video if you want to see it. And then zero ticks. Make sure that it is chain conditional. It's active. I forgot to say that. Make sure it is. This one is going to be the same thing for hours. Same as minutes, basically. But you're going to do uh, um, same thing. So zero ticks. Repeat always actives. Here is the command. And then for the chain conditional always active. And zero ticks for the one right above it. Um, here's the command for that one. Like I said, make sure those are periods, not commas, and make sure you're doing this correctly with the spaces and everything. And then make sure the arrow is pointing up. So then that is pretty much uh, the standard command blocks, the basic ones. So then we're gonna go over here. Um, so this is one how they're gonna get kills to display on the scoreboard. So I am doing, uh, for my future run, I'm doing a PvP one, so like a battle royale PvP. So basically the only way, I know some people use like XP and levels so every time you die, um, person nearest to that dead body's XP orb is going to get the kill for that. Um, I don't know, that one's a little bit funky with me. I still don't understand how to work that one. So this is the method I use. It's different, 
Um, so I use iron boots, but you can use like iron chest plate because everyone gets like iron gear. So I'm like to start off with. So the second they drop those boots, it's going to give the nearest player a kill, if that makes sense, instead of like an XP orb. But I'm sure I will update the system eventually, but this is just how I've always done it. So make sure this one is repeat, always active. And then make sure, same thing with the arrows. Every every arrow should point into the next one, right? So this one is going to be chain condition, always active. And all you're doing is killing the iron boots. If you want to switch this to like an iron helmet or like diamond boots or whatever you want between these quotation marks here, you're going to put whatever the name it is uh, of the item. So if I wanted to do like, uh, for some reason, iron ore, um, you're going to call it what whatever the item is called. So it's called iron ore and then make sure you're having those quotation marks correctly. I'm just going to put it back to iron boots. So my command doesn't get screwed up, but yeah, make sure you're paying attention to all those. And then I, it doesn't matter how many ranks you want to have. As you can see, I have 31 kills and my rank is basic. Um, so I have a lot of ranks. As you can see, each one of these command blocks is a different rank, right? So obviously mine is working with kills. So if you say, say you get like, I don't know, like five kills, then your rank will turn. Um, I have the ranks uh, I'd be in um, recruit. So it goes like newcomer, recruit, and then so on and so forth for all the commands until you get to the final one. Uh, I have it called champion, but I'll, I'll teach you guys how to edit that all in your own. So based on how many ranks you want to create is how many command blocks you're gonna have to have. I have a lot of command blocks, you don't need to do this, right? I'm gonna to try to simply explain this one to you. So for the first one, this is kind of the general one, we're all gonna have one command block starting it off, right? So my first rank would be here, I'll show you guys actually real quick. So if I set my score, or my if I lower my kills back down to one, So if I lower it back down, say to zero, right? You saw my rank switch to newcomer, right? My time and money are not changed at all, which is very nice. So I just joined the server. I'm at newcomer rank, right? So as you can see right here is the command for the newcomer. Um, as you can see, if you guys wanted to change this out, I will show you guys the other command blocks too, but you're just gonna wanna pay attention to these because these are the main key details. Um, so first off, actually copy this entire command. I know it's a bum, but copy it. It's seven spaces or eight spaces between this quotation mark and this quotation mark. It is eight spaces, by the way. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. And this one is just spaced all the way until it enters down a line. Pretty simple and sweet. So basically this one, so you're going to have the newcomer rank between kills zero and kill four. So if you've kills like two kills or three kills, you're still going to have the newcomer rank. So this is kind of like, uh, like a greater than equal to or less than kind of thing that we all learned in math at some point. So it's going to be zero equals to four. So anything in between that is, is going to still have the newcomer rank, right? And then this one is exactly the, the exact same one pretty much, but I changed it to recruit here. And this one is between kills five and 19 and so on and so forth. So you can create as many as you want. So this one is just basic, the basic one, as you can see down here, and then kills between kills 20 and 39, but pretty much everything else is the exact same. And also, if you guys want to do your social media, obviously you see mine's YouTube Dipsler. If you want to do yours, just erase Dipsler here and put whatever it is you need um, for yours. I'm not going to be like one guy that makes you, oh, you have to do YouTube Dipsler on your thing. No, I, I, I don't care. I, I know you guys are going to try to find a way anyway, so I'm just going to help you out. So it is with the soldier rank, it's between 40 and 74. And all these are pretty much so on and so forth. But this last one we get important is very important, right? Because for this last one here, my final rank, which is champion, right? Once you get over a thousand kills, there's going to be no rank after that. So you're just going to do period and period. That's all you're going to do. So that's infinite. So there, I have no rank above champion. So let's set my score to 1000, right? So if you don't have those two periods though, two periods there, the max kills you're gonna be able to see on your scoreboard is 1,000. But say like I have 1,102, right? It's still gonna display it there rather than if I added like, if I didn't have those periods there and just left it at kills equal 1,000, then it's not gonna go any higher. So I recommend just keeping it because it's good to see your stats anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I hope I kept this simple and sweet. I know the video is going to be around 10 minutes long. So yeah, if you guys have any comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, very important here. Um, I have a resource pack, which I will have in the description, which helps that scoreboard go to the right hand side. If you are on Xbox, PlayStation, PE, Nintendo Switch and doing this command, it's not going to work for you, unfortunately, unless you have this resource pack. I'll show you a different way of how to, if you don't have like Windows 10 edition where you can download this resource pack, all you're going to need to do is change this title. You see where it says title right here, I'm hovering over it. You're gonna change that so it says, um, I'll do it real quick for you guys so it's not confusing. Uh, give me one second. It, it sucks because every time you go back into this, you have to hold it. You can't just like click it there, which is unfortunate and most of you can relate on that. But if you just wait one second, I will show you what I mean by this. So if I change this da, 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 to so that it erase title and change this to action bar, literally exactly like that, right? No spaces, just action bar. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. So I, th so this is just for the newcomer rank. All right. So I'm gonna have to go back to zero kills, right? And then as you can see, it, um, I don't know, it's still displaying on the right hand side because I still technically have the um, champion rank, but that won't happen if you did this at the beginning. So you see in the bottom there, it's kind of like really delayed. So what you're gonna see to do is change the tick speed. I'd say maybe like a hundred should be good. And then it should come back, but like I see it like there, I don't know what the exact tick is, but I'm sure you guys will be able to play around with it. Uh, maybe 50 would work a little bit better. Maybe not, maybe, maybe like, let's say like 20, 20 ticks. It's 20 ticks is fine. I mean, it's a little annoying because it's gonna be flashing at the, at the bottom of your, of your screen there, but, um, that's about the best I can do for Xbox and PlayStation players, really, unfortunately. Um, you could, however, um, you see where it says slash N? That means a column down. So if you get rid of all those, like, like instead of like having two here, you change it to one everywhere. Um, it'll be, so there won't be that space between the time and the kills. If you, if you guys know what I mean, that might get a little confusing. But anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this helps you guys. And like I said, I'm trying to keep this really simple and self-explanatory. So if you guys have any comments, please leave them down in the description. And thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this far into the video. I uh, hope this helps you guys and have a wonderful day.